Hey everyone, I hope you're well. In my last video that I uploaded, which was my 2018 beauty resolutions, I said I was going to do the reverse rouge challenge, I'm doing a year long no buy, and that I would be doing various kind of makeup challenges as part of that. Now, because I am doing those makeup challenges and because in terms of the amount of makeup that I own, I don't think I'm going to pan a lot of makeup, I think it's going to be more skincare that'll get my reverse rouge through. Um, I wasn't really convinced on the idea of doing a project pan. Blush, for example, I've got over 90 blushes. Like, what is the point in me concentrating in one and just kind of ignoring the other, like, however many, whilst they get closer to being expired and may as well using everything. So I have decided to do a project pan, but it is a project 10 pan, not an 18 in 2018. And it's items that I picked that I think will be easy to use whilst I'm running through other challenges and whilst I am using my other products. So yeah, let's just get into those items. I have actually got two powders that I'm going to work on. Um, the first is from Estee Lauder. Now this already has quite a good pan in it, so that is what this one looks like. And you might be kind of thinking that's going to be really easy to do within a year. However, I currently have a few powders that have a decent pan in them. So I'm going to be working through my MAC one first of all um, and my Soap and Glory one. So those two need to be done first before I'm even going to move on to this one. So part of the reason this is in here is just so that once I do work through those two, this is the next one that I'm going on to. I picked this one because it does have a pan in it already. So I think I can actually finish it within the year and get it out of my stash. But also this was actually a powder foundation. It comes, it's got a space in the bottom for a sponge. So it's quite a chunky compact and it's taking up quite a lot of space in my collection versus some of my other powders that are just a bit flatter. So I would like to see this one gone. And the other powder that I'm working on is going to be a little bit more difficult. And it is this, it is the Makeup Forever. Now I have had this for far too long. Oh, it doesn't actually, it, mu it was in a box so it must have had the kind of use by on the box. Um, but I've definitely had this for far too long. I remember buying this Makeup Forever wasn't available in the UK, you could only get it in Paris. I'd gone to Paris, I went into Sephora and I remember buying this and a foundation and I was just so, so excited about it. Don't know why because it was before I even started YouTube so I wasn't ever filming so I don't know why I thought I needed this like HD powder that is supposed to be for filming. Um, but I just really really wanted it so I remember buying it I remember how excited I was about it but I don't use this enough so if you guys can see my storage behind me um, it's a lot of the Muji drawers that I've got this actually doesn't fit even in the bigger one so this sits on top of my storage but I have quite a lot of things on top of my storage now my story I really want to work through a lot of my products so that at the start of next year I can really rejig my storage and I will be playing about with it through the year and trying to find what kind of maybe works better than what I've currently got um, if you want to see my full storage at the end of January, I'm hoping to do a makeup collection video. I've got a lot of haul videos that I need to film. I said all this in my beauty and resolutions video, but I've not got around to starting filming them yet. I've just had such a busy start of January, um, which is good. I'm really glad that I'm busy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of caught in the way of some of my plans. But once I film those haul videos, I will do a makeup collection video as it is just now so that you know you guys can see that storage and stuff. But in my reverse rouge updates, as I do different challenges I'll be like oh this is how I'm switching up my storage or these are the products I'm concentrating on and stuff like that so that's going to be in that video but because this has been in top of my storage I really don't reach for it enough and I do film now I do make YouTube videos which I didn't when I bought this but I, I just I still don't remember to put it on so I'm putting it in here because I want to start using it Scott and I weren't even together when I bought this powder and we have been together for over six years now so um, yeah it's definitely really old, it doesn't seem to be breaking me out, it still feels really nice on the skin actually um, so I'm quite impressed with how it's preserved itself but it's definitely too old so I'm going to try and get as much use of it as possible this year um, and then I think it might be time to say goodbye but I, I'm just not ready to just throw it out without at least trying to use it. So because I've had it for so long I have actually used more of it than I maybe thought I had um, even though I don't use it consciously at the moment. On the bottom there, that is the powder when it's on its side, so it's just above this circle. I'm going to mark that. Oh, I think I need to get a different pen. This one's not ideal. So I've marked that for where that line is at the moment. So my goal is just to try and use as much of this as possible this year, and I'd like to be well under where that little circle is in the bottom of the pack, so well under half of that. My other kind of base product that I put in here are two MAC correctors. So I have got... 
these two here this one is light peach i use that under the eyes and this one is blown dash which is a sort of greeny color for neutralizing redness now i have had these again probably far too long given that they are cream products they are probably going to expire and i just don't use them enough i've got my bobby brown under eye corrector i've got my maybelline one which is really easy because it's in sponge tip applicator packaging but i just don't take this out i don't use it so i really want to use these and get them gone this year I don't know if I will realistically use the full ones of them in a year but I would like to, I'm aiming to have like a good pan in these. One of the things I think kind of put me off a project pan was I thought you had to completely finish the item. I didn't really kind of realise until I properly looked into it, a project pan can be just about hitting pan realistically so I think that makes it a little bit easier. I've also got this which is from Becca, this is the Moonstone Liquid Highlighter. So I can actually see exactly where I am in this at the moment. I'm definitely going to need a different pen but that isn't marked there because there's a little space and I can see that the liquid is kind of there. I really like this but again I just don't think to reach for it in terms of creamy liquidy products. I tend to do my base, put powder on and then be like okay what will I do for highlight and eyes and whatever else like that. So in terms of like creamy liquidy highlighters and like cream blushes I don't think about them enough to use them. Your liquid and cream products always have that like quicker expiry date so it is important to use them. I really like this one. I do remember to use it. I think it's beautiful. I've got it on today. I think it gives me like, like I've got no other highlighter on just this. And I think it gives a really like healthy lip from within look to the skin. I'm really, really into it. I just don't remember to use it. So that's going in to try and remind me to use it up. And then speaking about cream products that I don't use, I've got this Ella Mask Blush. This is in the shade Rude, which has been discontinued. And I'm really bad for hoarding onto things, especially if they are limited edition or if they have been discontinued, because I'm like, if I use that up, like I can never replace it. But realistically, this is a cream blush. It says in the back, you're supposed to get nine months out of this. I've 100% had this for more than nine months. It's not breaking me out. I still like the color. I've got it on today. Um, it's super pigmented, which is part of the problem because you just need so, so little of this. Definitely had it more than nine months. Um, the packaging is actually broken, if you guys can see that there. So it doesn't even kind of properly, like, click shut anymore. It's not, um, you know, it's very, very loose, so it's not being preserved properly. I do have this for anyone who's kind of wondering, um, which is an antibacterial makeup spray, which I do use, so I am kind of sanitising things, but... Even though this can kill bacteria, it can only prolong the life of a product for so long. I love this and I don't want to be without it, but I would also rather get the use of it before I have to be without it than that it just goes off. It does have a reasonable kind of dent in it and I also dropped something in there that sort of cut through it. So I am reasonably close to the pan on this, probably because I've had it for so long. So I would like to see quite a big pan on this by the end of the year. Um, it is a cream blush and I think the good thing about that as well is that I can use that like I've just got that on in its own today but you can also go over that with another powder blush use it as a base to add more of a peachy tone to a different powder blush over the top or and you can also mix it with other cream blushes so hopefully it will make me use this more and I will get my use of it before it's expired because I think by the end of this year we can safely say it's time to to wave goodbye to this. Blush is a product that I have a lot of which is why I wanted to do the cream one because as I said you can mix it in things but the other product that I have far too much of is eyeshadow so although I have picked an eyeshadow that I would like to hit pan on it's the Chanel Illusion d'Ombre this is in the shade 95 Mirage I've got it on my hands today it's absolutely beautiful but again this is like a cream colour I love it on its own it's one of my favourite shadows it's been discontinued I actually have a backup of this so there's really no need for me to be hoarding this one the way it is because I've got a completely unopened back up as soon as I found out they were discontinuing it I was like I need another one because I love it so so much but this can be a base for another eye look but this like again cream products they've got a shorter lifespan this has actually dried up around the edges so it comes out so all I'm looking to do is hit a kind of decent pan in this and you know really feel like I've got my use out of it and yeah I love this colour it's it's an easy every single day colour I feel like the face that I've got on today uses a lot of the products and I feel like that's quite an easy face to throw on like going to work or something it's not over the top but it's still can kind of pull together enough so I think it should be reasonably easy to hit pan in this within a year surely hopefully and last I've got three lip products I have a lot of lip products they're my favourite thing to buy is lip products 
eyeshadow palettes and blushes but lip products mainly. This one I've definitely had for a little bit too long. It's the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade Peach Club. I have that on today. I can't really show you guys my progress with this because it's in, it's like that's not a transparent container um, but I do think this is kind of if I used, if I made a conscious effort to use this, I do think it could be finished this within a year. I had a look through my lip products and there's things that I would like to use, but they're not going to be finished within a year, whereas I think this is a kind of everyday colour. So I think I can probably use this quite a lot for multiple different occasions, whereas if I'd put like a deep purple in or something, that's not a usable. So that is my liquid lip that I'd like to get through. And then I've got a lip combo. So the lipstick is this one which is the MAC Viva Glam Cindy. Now, if you guys can see this, this is quite convenient, actually. There is a mark on the back of this, so I would quite like to get it so that I've used enough that that mark has disappeared and you can't see it anymore. I had a look and the Cindy Lauper collaboration with MAC was in 2011 in the UK, and I remember getting this and like I was keeping it good for ages before I actually used it, so I haven't been necessarily had it open since 2011, um, but that's just silly as well, so yeah, I should have had it open sooner, I should have used it and enjoyed it, um, and I didn't, I hoarded it, kept it good, and I'm just like, even if I didn't open this in 2011, I've had it for too long, I need to use it up. I'm not bothered about finishing it because I've got a lot of lip products and I want to use them all as much as possible this year, so if I just finish down to where that mark is, I'll be quite happy. And the last product that I've got to use up is this, so this is just a little mini lip gloss from Marc Jacobs, um, it's in the shade Allow Me number 302 and this goes quite nicely over this for just quite a neutral lip. I'm not usually a lip gloss person but these are not sticky. I've only used it a couple of times, I actually picked it out on Christmas Day and was like oh, I'll just use that and see what it's like because I was trying to do a bit of a declutter before the start of 2018 um, and I thought this might have gone but I decided to keep it but I'm not a huge lip gloss person so although I've decided to keep it I would like to use it up and you know let go of it also lip gloss is again another one that's like a shorter expiry date but these two go quite nicely together for just like quite a neutral lip and um, I was actually wearing these on the video that I filmed on Christmas day which was I think my sort of Christmas sales haul um, that I'd filmed so I will link that up at the end if you want to go see what these look like together. Hopefully through using these as a combination I should be able to get rid of them quite quickly. Because I have only used this three times this is basically full, like there's no kind of dip or anything in it so we'll just say that it's new and at my first update we will hopefully have seen a little bit of go down, would be good. So those are my 10 products for my 2018 project pan. I don't feel like there's any point in me doing like a monthly update on them because there's months like 30 lipsticks, 30 days or a palette a week or whatever. Um, or a blush a day or whatever that I wouldn't necessarily be touching them or making huge progress so I think maybe maybe quarterly updates maybe one at the end of March one at the end of June one at the end of September and then one at the end of December to see how I've gotten on I think that's probably enough time that there should actually be differences in them at that point so yeah that is my plan I hope you've enjoyed watching this thank you very much for doing so Um, I will link up my YouTube resolutions video at the end if you guys haven't seen that I would love if you could go and check that out um, and I will also link up my sales haul that's got me wearing that lip gloss and lipstick combination in it. Everything else that I showed is actually on my face today so I've got the blush on, I've got the HD powder, the Estee Lauder powder is just a powder it doesn't really look like anything. This is the eyeshadow and this is the bourgeois lipstick um, I've got the highlight on as well today and I did use the under eye corrector. Thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That makes me really happy when I see those numbers going up. Um, and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.